You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, no more dentures. According to my first guest, you could get a fixed set of teeth, a full arch of teeth, in just a few appointments. We're talking about dental implants. Uh, he's an expert on the topic, a well-known uh, doctor in Texas, Dr. McEnany. Dr. McEnany, welcome to the program. I'm glad to be here. Thanks, Randy. Good. Now, before we get into today's topic, uh, for people that don't know your practice, Who's your typical patient and what are the different procedures you do? I guess you do more than dental implants. Yes, I do. Uh, my typical patient is, you know, young and old alike, middle aged teachers, uh, just your, your average person on the street. We're in a small town. So, uh, you know, pr professionals, uh, college professors, those okay. types of people. So what about procedures? I mean, you, you, you do a lot of things there. Yeah, we under do one roof. We do a lot of things. Typical procedures are we fix cracked and broken back teeth with these wonderful metal feet, uh, crowns to help restore people's chewing. Um, okay. We help people if they're broken or misaligned front teeth that have, uh, uh, they want to improve their confidence with veneers, braces, whatever it might take, or whitening. Um, then we move into other more complex things where we rebuild someone's entire mouth. And we do that with and without dental implants. Okay, now, now we said at the top of the show, no more dentures. You did. Is that your philosophy? I it mean, is. no more traditional dentures? In my opinion, dentures are just terrible. Are they? Yeah, they're terrible. Um, I have people come in all the time just looking for a solution. And, and, and the problem is they just don't know all their options. Okay. And, and there's several reasons for that. Okay, now you brought a lot of photos. People need to know it's a real interview here. I'm not on your side here. I'm not trying to endorse you, but your photos are absolutely amazing. And so people have to stick around for these photos because these, they, they don't even look like the same people, literally. Yeah, I, I, I and agree. And it's just their teeth. Because going into this, I thought, well, he's a dentist. He thinks the teeth are pretty important. How important is it, by the way? Your teeth. Like a smile. A smile. And your teeth. It's everything. I mean, how important is it, is it to you? Yeah. Your smile. Take it for granted, My smile. I guess. Yeah. But, but, I mean, people that don't know, once they get their smile fixed, then it makes them a whole new person. Builds their confidence. Makes them healthier. Changes their position in life, okay. get a job, raise, so boyfriend, are, girlfriend, because all the stuff. Is that what patients tell you? Yeah, after the fact. Some big, big life changes. So dentures, okay. Is this, are there a lot of people wearing dentures? Like within an hour of your practice, would you say a thousand? Way more than that. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We're in North Texas, Southern Oklahoma, there are lots of dentures. So thousands of denture wearers. Yes. But, now, I guess dental implants now, you're saying with as little as two implants, you give them a full arch of teeth that snap in, snap out? We can do that. As little as two, four, how many ever they want to get. Okay. The more the better. The more like life like teeth. If it's so good, right, to secure, if there's so many denture wears, why aren't they all doing it? That's my question. That's a great question. Um, they're not doing it because they don't know what they don't know. Um, many of the people are concerned about cost, the fear of getting it done. They think it's a long, drawn out, painful procedure. Um, um, and, and many times they've been told by other dentists that maybe don't know better that they can't have them. Okay. Or, or they just feel like they're maybe too old to have them or, or whatever the case. You know, one thing that, that a lot of people don't know, when people get dentures, they feel like they don't need to go to the dentist anymore. Okay. So they don't go to the dentist. So they may go five, 10, 15 years. They might hear about dental implants on uh, on the TV or, or from a friend, but th they may not get in a situation where they're brought up to date the fact that they are a candidate to have them. Another reason, Randy, that people aren't aware of the dental implants because by the time they get to wearing dentures, they've already suffered with gum disease, broken teeth, they've made large investments in their mouth that they feel like have failed, and they, the last thing they want to do is go back to the dentist. Okay, good point. Seems like it hurts, by the way. Very hurt. painful. The dental implants? Yeah. Um, why would you think that? Because you're putting it in, I mean, yeah, it seems like it, yeah. it hurts. And, you know, you're like a lot of people, they, they believe that. It, it's just because they're not informed about modern dental implants. Uh, in fact, dental implants are very uh, comfortably placed, minimally invasive, quick and simple compared to even 20 years ago. So, I mean, is that, I mean that's got to be the patient fear, right? Pain? Pain? Yeah, I mean, you could only imagine in your mind uh, putting a dental implant to your jawbone is bound to hurt. Yeah. Well, what people don't understand is the jawbone doesn't have any feeling in it. It's kind of like okay. getting your hair cut or your nails clipped. It, there's no nerves in there. And um, because we don't, I mean, best I know, nobody takes bones out of your ribs and your knees. And, and there's not a lot of aggressive bone grafting and 
pre-surgical and we don't have to wait a long time. Because most cases we put the implants right in, there's hardly any bleeding, no stitches. It's just a simple, we call it a slam dunk <laughs> case there in Texas. But So is it just, I guess, getting the message out to the, the denture wearers? Exactly. Because, I mean, are you convinced that if, if they knew how easy it was to get a full arch of teeth, I guess, with just two implants, snap in, snap out, or a fixed set of teeth, they would all do it? I mean, do you think they would all do it if they knew? Once I get someone in my office and I can really explain to them the modern options of dental implants and let them see how it really works, it's a no-brainer for them. Okay. And, and, and then the next thing is just getting them scheduled and getting going. Um, people... I've never had one implant patient that wishes they didn't ever have them. Once they get them, they'll think, but they always come back and say, boy, I wish I'd have done this a long time ago. Is that right? So what are the age ranges of people, these denture wearers that are coming in? Most of our denture wearers are from 50 years old up to 95. Now, why would a 95-year-old want to get dental implants, though? Well wouldn't, everybody, age? well, wouldn't everybody, no matter what their age, like to chew and eat and function okay. and, and be able to speak and their teeth not fall out or slip around and... and, and Golly, get rid of that glue. The, the glue, I couldn't imagine having that in my so mouth. So are denture wearers pretty miserable? I mean, I know a few. I never hear them complain. But let me tell you a story. I used to wonder what dentures would be like for me before dental implants. And I thought, you know, if I could just take my teeth out and put dentures in and wear them for a little bit. Is that right? Then, then I could maybe have an explanation for this misery these people are going through. You know, granted, I could put my teeth back in after yeah. I got to experience it. And I searched for a lot of answers to help these people that just didn't have an answer. And the dental implant is the answer. So you always knew early on that dentures were bad? Going way back. I mean, my, my dad and my grandfather built dentures for a living. That's right. That's and right. I, your, your dad and your, your grandfather. Yeah, and I grew up around them. Even back as a teenager, I thought, how do these things possibly work? And why doesn't somebody have some way to connect it to their head, to their mouth? Little did I know that in the future, not even knowing I'd be a dentist and putting in dental implants, that the answer <laughs> lied in the future. And, and, and I'm so happy it is because now I know that I can make somebody work, get rid of the misery and all the stuff they have to put up with, give them a nice looking natural smile that functions, they can chew and eat and have all the foods they want. They can eat that steak, have the corn on the cob, bite the apple, all the things that I think most of us want to do. Enjoy the texture of food, enjoy the, um, the taste of food. It, it, have you ever talked to a denture wearer? They, they can't taste food anymore, right? Is that right? Yeah, there's no taste buds in your palate. Most people don't know that, but your palate ha plays a big part in tasting food. And so when you put that denture on there, it closes that off. So food never tastes the same. They can't feel texture like chips and things like I love chips and crackers. Because the roof of their mouth is covered. Interesting. Yeah, and, and they slip around. So with implants, as little as two or four, how many ever they want to get, they can restore as close as possible their natural teeth like they used to be a long time ago. So they get a full arch of teeth, uh, same day. Now, now uh, help me understand this. I guess how it's normally done is they go to the surgeon that does the surgery, then they go to the other doctor that puts the teeth on top, and you do both parts. I do both parts. So you've had a lot of training in this? A lot of training, many, many years, um, 20. 20 years? Yeah, I've Which been a you? dentist for 22, so right out of the dental school I started it. When did you know you wanted to be a dentist? Because your dad and your grandfather were making dentures? I mean, when did you know? Uh, 17 years old. Is that right? Yeah. I had a vision to be a dentist, and, uh, and I did. And um, it's, a great, it's great. I love going to work and really transforming people's lives. I mean, it changes them. You have some kind of a mission statement, by yeah, the way, about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mission every day is to transform somebody physiologically, make them healthier, psychologically, make them happy about themselves, and emotionally create that emotion or create that confidence so they can go out in the world and be around people and, and socialize or, or get the boyfriend they've always wanted or the girlfriend or get that job or get the raise uh, and be noticed. I mean, Good. everybody wants to be somebody. They want somebody to know that, that they're alive, Good. <laughs> I Good. think. So moving on to the uh, dental implant options, what are the different categories of dental implant patients that you see? The different categories of implants are a single implant to replace a single tooth. Okay two, three, four implants for a small group of teeth or to replace all their teeth because they've been told that their teeth are finished, they have to have them all out. So some people that have been told all your teeth have to go, so they have a decision, dentures or dental implants? Yeah, that's their only decision, dentures that don't work. Yeah, but what if somebody's been in dental or in a denture for 30 years? 
Isn't it true they're, they may not have enough bone? No, it's not true. Okay. I haven't had one person that didn't have enough bone yet. Now, they may have been told that by somebody, but in, in today's technology, um, different types of implants, one that works with minimal bone, um, and a lot of people don't realize it, that no matter what age you are, as long as you're healthy, if we have to, we can grow new bone. Okay, so there's things you can do. Okay, yeah. you brought some photos. And, and, and by yeah, the way, these and, are dramatic photos. Yeah, let me show you this one. Okay, let's because take a look. A while ago, I talked about how I really go to work to transform people's lives. I, I get a joy out of seeing them after the fact and let them come back and tell me all their stories and, and show me their pictures. So here's one right here of a case that we did where this young lady was this had some issues and um, broken teeth, painful gums, bleeding gums, whatever. And uh, she came in saying, look, you know, can you help me? Have you ever seen anything as bad as this? Because that's got to yeah. be unusual. No, no, not necessarily, Randy. In fact, it's not. They're, they're walking around everywhere. You just don't see it because this is my office. I, I made her smile so we could get a before picture. But most of these people aren't smiling. They're not mm. out in public. And they're not socializing. Or, or many times they, they, they talk with their mouth closed or eat with their mouth closed. So they're, they're Okay, so this woman comes in, and you're saying that all of those teeth have to go. Yes. Is that right? Yes, and her option was denture or denture with implants to hold it still. Okay, so what'd you do? Well, what we did is because her teeth had to go, we removed her natural teeth. We put in multiple implants that, with a snap-in type of teeth okay. so that it opened up the palate. She could taste food, wow. she could chew food, she can smile. Um, if, if you look at that, if it was two people, they were sisters and say, for instance, one came in for, both came in for job interviews. You know, I always ask people, which one would be more likely you'd hire? Well, at least the one smiling. Yeah. She yeah. looks happy. Very good. I mean, this is a complete, like a smile makeover. Yeah, and it fulfills my mission. I mean, this lady is completely different. Her personality, uh, she's very, very, very happy. She now gets out in public. Does, she looks younger. Yeah. Everything. Yes, and, and on top of that, she can really chew food. She has no more pain, no more broken teeth, no more bleeding gums, all those things. And we did that in a very short period of time. For the people that are highly anxious or afraid of this, especially the denture wearers, right? You do IV sedation there. Yes, we've been doing IV sedation for a lot of years, and it's wonderful. They come in, they can be comfortable, they can be partially asleep, all the way asleep, and they don't have to worry about anything. They wake up and they have their dental implants in place, and they, in most cases, they leave with their teeth. Now, here's the so they look in the mirror and they, and, and they don't even remember the procedure? They don't Sometimes? remember. Yeah, most of the time they don't remember anything. <laughs> they remember getting to the office and getting home. And um, funny story is, I've had m a numerous occasions where uh, people would actually call me up and say, hey, why didn't you put my implants in like you promised you'd do? I, that's why I came there. <laughs> and I said, uh, they're in there. And sometimes they still don't believe me and they have to come to the office. I have to take an x-ray to show them they're re really there because it, they me. had no pain. It was, yeah, they couldn't believe it. So you have to show them an x-ray to prove that you did it? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting, well, well good for you. So, so fear should not keep these denture wearers from coming in and doing it? Fear should be not an issue. Because you could do sedation. Sedation. Or... It's quick and easy. It's mentally invasive. They, uh, we use a laser for all of our surgery, so that keeps the inflammatory process minimal. Okay. And in most cases, it's nothing more than make a little hole in the gum. The laser keeps it from bleeding. There's hardly any blood. You put them right in, send the patient home. They wake up, and voila, they've got their implants. All right, good. Full arch of teeth, you say. So, so, so the options for denture wear is what? Two implants, full arch, snap in, snap out. And what's the yeah. next level up? Well, um, you have the two, the two implants or four implants, top or bottom, top and bottom. Okay. And um, we can uh, show you a couple of, of ideas here. Do you, do you show these to patients? I like to show these to patients because I'm a real visual learner. It allows them to kind of get an idea of what's going to happen. Okay. So this is a case here where we have the two on the bottom. And you, you can see, now this has been on and off of there a lot. Because <laughs> I show okay. them, uh, these are You're right not exaggerating office. No, right and I'm pulling it. So there's two. That's easy. So two implants, let me take yeah, a look at two this. two implants right on the bottom. Okay, so this is, uh, this will go on the bottom. Uh, you it snaps on mm -hmm. right there. Okay, you're right, it actually is. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got and, it. And you can do So the, right underneath there, there's like two little holes. Yeah. And then just Two snaps. little snaps. So now you have a situation, whether it be two, here's the four one for the top, and you see on the top, there's no covering the palate, so you'll be able to taste food right. With the mm -hmm. denture covers there, you can't taste food anymore. And denture wearers know this. They, they, they know it 
and uh, once they get this out of there, and I have people come in, they'll say, well, can you just cut the roof of my, my denture out? And I say, well, no, it, it doesn't work that way. It won't Because it won't, it won't, it won't stay. stay. Even with adhesive, it won't stay? Yeah, not really? No, no, not really. But what I was going to say a while ago is now you have a situation where you have titanium in the mouth, and there's no more cavities, no more pain. You don't know they're there. They just you, you brush them and clean them like you would your teeth. No more gum disease. All that stuff's gone. And they just work forever and ever. This is a lifetime treatment for people. With, you get those implants in there. Now, now, given enough time, your denture will probably wear out and you'll need a new one. But those will never wear out. They're there forever. Now, the, one of the other things that a lot of people like is the ones that don't come out. So this is much smaller, you can see, than, mm -hmm. than these. That's like getting your own teeth. Yeah. Is that right? It's like getting your own teeth back. These, these cement are screwed into place and they're there. They don't snap in and out and it's just like having your real teeth back. Wasn't that what was. everybody wants? I mean, a set of teeth that don't come in and out? Well, I, I but have, there's different levels, obviously. I have both. Um, some people prefer this, some people prefer this. Okay. That's why we offer all the different options. Now, what's nice about this method nowadays with new technology and the, the scanners and the 3D scanners and all the things we can do, we can plan the surgeries before we ever do them. We know exactly where the implants go. And so this is a style here that you can come in, you, any of these, you can come in and, and leave with teeth, in most cases, the same day. The same day. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So in a perfect world, somebody watching this program, they're a dentureware. If they go in, how soon could they have a full arch of teeth? A couple of weeks? A month? Well, there, there is some downtime in making the denture, so okay. yeah, a couple of months. Now, the, what's, what's interesting is a long time ago, I mean... I but say they're never without teeth, though. Never without teeth. Okay. That's a good point. A lot of people are worried they have to do without teeth. And, and trust me, I, I would never make somebody go without their teeth. All right. Yeah, they'll always right. have teeth from start to finish. Um, like I said, I've, I've been in practice 22 years. Things were done so different back then, and that's not that long ago. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, I mean, I remember implants were a dr just a long process. It took forever to finish an implant case, maybe a year, year and a half. But we can go from start to finish in as little as two to three, four months now. Wow. Good for you. Okay, so you brought more photos. Let's go yeah. through those photos for the well, sake of time. Well, here's another here. one. Yeah. Here's another one. This is another wonderful case. Now, this patient comes in. Here again, teeth are broken down, gum disease, all the things that we typically see, teeth have to go. There's no, it makes no sense to even try to save them. There's no possibility. So she's faced with- the And that's a young woman. I mean, she looks pretty young. Yeah, and, and so here again, she's faced with dentures or dentures with the assistance of dental implants. Okay. Because what she wants to do is she wants to get her life back. She wants to be able to eat like she used to. She, she doesn't want any more pain. She wants to be able to enjoy food and how food tastes and all those things I think everybody wants. Mm -hmm. And so we got her in did all the things we do to pre prepare her, get the old teeth out, get the new teeth in, get the implants in and up and running. And it Wow. And so those, and that looks like a beautiful smile. She got a new job, got a new boyfriend, moved off to New York City. She sent me this picture with a thank you note telling me how grateful she was that I'd helped her transform her life and give her a new life. And that's It doesn't what, even look like the same person. Though. I know, and that's what makes me feel good. I'm really compassionate about this. This is what I like to do. And so th this woman, okay, those upper teeth, because those teeth look beautiful, the upper. You're saying that's like a snap in, snap out, or a fixed set of teeth? What is it? Those are snap in, snap out. Very nice. Very nice. So does she call you back? She sent you this photo and, and, and her whole life changes. Yeah, she sent the photo with a wonderful note that we still have and just went on and on how that sh now she was in a new place, a new guy, everything was different. And, good, uh, good. Good. Does it, you have more photos? Yeah, we have quite a few here. All of these are very similar stories. Here's and for another. people just tuning in, we're talking about no more dentures. Get a fixed set of teeth uh, in just a few appointments uh, with two, four, six implants. I guess six or more, you'd want to get a fixed set of teeth. And with two, you get a full arch, snap in, snap out. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So minimal, in, minimal implants, snap in, snap out. More implants, they stay in all the time. Okay. So this one, what's going on? Same story. I mean, sometimes you reach a point, you know, the way we treat the plan, how we're going to approach a person's repair and get them to where they want to go. I always ask people, what do they want when they come to the office? And okay. then I always give them what I would do if I were them in their situation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's really, really open. I like to be transparent. And so now, besides 20 years ago when I started, nowadays we've approached things different with dental implants because they're so easy. 
and they do so many things for us. So this woman, all so those teeth had to go? All as the well? teeth had to go. We so, yeah, there's too many problems to go to repair them. When we can easily switch over, get the teeth out in a very short period of time, have new teeth in. Looks very nice. That work better than her teeth did. That's the thing. A lot of people that have bad teeth, they can get the transformation and their, their teeth are better than they are were before. Of, and most of these people are sedated, so they don't feel anything. In my practice. Do you recall, I mean, are most of these people yeah, sedated? Yes. In my practice, easily 50% of the people have, are sedated because that's what we're known for. Okay. I mean, that's one of the things. You're the we're sedation known for. king. Yeah, yeah, we can, we, we can sedate you. And, and actually, in my area, uh, on the sedation part, I, I'm the only general doctor in a large uh, uh, area. area that uh, has a full anesthesia license, so we can do kind of everything. Is that right? Okay, yeah. good for you. So it is safe, and Pretty you have safe. a lot more photos. What else do we have? Oh, just more of the same thing. We've got, uh, and they're all the same scenario. I mean, you look at this, look at this. I mean, it's amazing. Um, now, remember, this is a woman that before, I mean, she comes in, she doesn't smile at all. We, when, they, when the audience sees the before picture, you know, we, we have to, matter of fact, they, they, they generally haven't smiled in so long, we have to practice smiling. So, uh, you know, we have to practice getting them to smile on, you know, that tickle them or something to get them to smile. <laughs> okay. so, so we can get that picture so we can show the, the, the difference. And so this here, wow, look at this. So what did you do for her? Well, what we did for her, teeth had to go, too many problems. We get those out, get new ones in. We did uh, several dental implants. We did the snap-on, snap-in um, the version. That's a completely different person with yeah. this smile. Yeah, and did, not only do they look better and feel better and are more ambitious and all the things that come with the emotion, but, but they can chew food. They have so no, they can chew they things. They don't have pain. They don't have dentures that are sliding around causing sore spots all the time. And, um, and, and they can taste food properly. And, 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 it, and when they get them, it's just such a big deal. They, they just can't believe how good it is. Did they ever come back and tell you what they ate? Like bragging about a, a certain thing yeah, that they Yeah, you ate? know, just the other day, I have a guy, he couldn't believe it. He had his first steak. I mean, I love steak. Down in Texas, we all eat steak. And, and boy, I tell you what, if I can get somebody eating a steak and enjoying it, and, and not have to cut up a bunch of pieces or eat ground meat, they are super happy. I mean, to be able to eat a steak, uh, I don't know what it is about biting into an apple, but everybody seems to want to do that. Or eating a car, uh, corn off the cob. Here again, we eat lots of corn off the cob there with barbecue and one thing or the next. And just know that you can eat those things without your teeth pulling out or having to have four pounds of glue on it or whatever. So uh, that's a big deal, being able to eat and really enjoy. Your, I mean, I think we all enjoy food, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So could, could you imagine not being able to eat anything you wanted or you had to eat soft stuff all the time? I, I, I think I'd go crazy. Um, you know, so these the, dentures. So you're saying that there's, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but there's really no such thing as a happy denture. They just learn to adapt to their denture. Elaborate I, on that. My, I have a strong belief that there is not a happy denture wear. I, I, they may say they are, but most of them aren't. They'll admit it, and they just adapt. They don't think they think that's all there is. They don't have their teeth to fall back on, so they don't have any other choices. They have to make themselves okay. do it. They they have to adapt or wear them in their pocket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's more. Um, would you like to see more pictures? Yes, okay. let's take a look. Okay, I got a couple more here. Nice transformations, same thing. Nice looking lady, just has a lot of teeth problems and she is looking for solutions. They, they always, when they, we have a couple of different ones. I mean, the people that come in, their teeth are ruined and they know it and they're looking for solutions. Matter of fact, they'll come in and they'll say, golly, I'm, I'm embarrassed. They, they want to meet in my private office and, and show me because they don't want anybody else to see. Even in your office, they don't want people to see. No, they're, they're very self-conscious and, um, and, and they just know that they're the worst one I've ever seen. They know they're the, they have the worst dental situation. And uh, when I start showing pictures like this and they start to realize there's other people out there. Matter of fact, a whole bunch of other people. So like that, that woman's teeth had to go. This is a young yeah, they person. they had to go. So, so this is a person that doesn't want dentures, obviously. That's way too young to be wearing dentures. Yeah, yeah. Well, well any age is too young to be wearing dentures, don't you think? Okay. I mean, wow, look at this after. But I will say that the younger individuals, I mean, could you imagine being, well, I don't, even your age now. I mean, 40s, I mean, to have to wear dentures would be pretty, pretty tough. 40s, 50s, 60s. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't imagine wearing dentures or having to wear dentures at all. Um, and, and the nice thing about the dental implant retained dentures is so, so many more people are discovering there's an answer. What is this? I mean, are these veneers, porcelain veneers? I mean, what, what are those? No, that's a, that's a snap-on denture. 
Is that now, right? We do porcelain veneers. We do all those things. I mean, look at that. That's a pretty smile. It, it is. It makes her a whole different person. And just think about how she must feel about herself and how much she enjoys, you know, here again, we talked about the food and doing all the things she wants, but just think about the boost her, the her social life or being at work or her, her business life, all the things. She also looks, you know, because we talked about this on the phone. You said teeth could make you look more sophisticated. I agree, yeah, they be, do. Be, because on these before photos, you, you have judgments about somebody based on their teeth. Um, I mean, sometimes, whether you like it or not, I mean, th those are the facts. Yeah, we have a lot of people that come in nowadays, because of, especially in our area, but I guess it's all over, and they come in, and it's just life circumstances. Their teeth just got bad. They didn't grow up taking care of their, whatever the case is, but they come in and they'll say, you know, I gotta get my teeth good. I just don't want somebody to think I'm a drug addict or something like that. Interesting. Yeah, and they don't want people to think bad of them because of their teeth. People are becoming more self-conscious about how they appear. And um, that may not be fair, but that's just the way it is. So no more dentures. You wanna no wipe more... out dentures in, uh, in your town and in Texas? Uh, everywhere. I, I just, you know, the people that end up getting them just realize the, the benefit and they, they wonder why they've never had them. Uh, they're glad that they came so they could see the options and get the opportunity to get those implants and, and, the, and their, get their smile back, get their function back, get all the things in life that they appreciate back. We're out of time. The great stuff. And, and these photos are on your website? They are. Yeah. Okay. They can go to the website and find all that. Final message to the dentureware watching this. Maybe they're skeptical. Maybe they're still afraid. Well, it seems like it hurts. What I would invite them to do, come in, let me give you your options. Let's look at your particular case. Everyone's customized. It's not a cookie cutter thing. Everyone has different um, needs. We need to find out really what you want in your life. And that way we can put a package together to get you where you want to go. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Very good. Great yeah, well, info. I, I appreciate Great it. Info. It's been fun. And I know you do a lot of other things, uh, you know, in, in your office, you know, for migraine headaches and and, uh, and, and just a lot of different things that you're taking care of. So, so good for you. Okay. Great info and great photos. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you'd like to see this interview again online, if you only caught the last 10 minutes, you go to our website at wellnesshour.com and just uh, click on uh, Dr. McEnany. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.